Hello and welcome to Kick It Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create the flower and this is cartoon again our series to create some simple cartoon kind of low polygon plants with a few details. The techniques what we're we going to use it's actually will apply to almost any other plant or flower you want to create it. So if you want to create a little bit more complex, all what you need to do work a little bit more on the textures and maybe add additional uh, details, just increase complexity. But the basic is probably be very similar to what we're going to do now. We'll begin by creating a first stem for our flower. And you know what, let's rename it. Yeah, and I'm also just changing slightly color so we can separate it. Okay, currently you notice it is 10 meters high. It's a little bit too tall. Um, I'm going to set one meter. Okay, well, we can bring a little bit up, look around. And you know what, let's even zoom closer to this. Okay, in the next, um, I'm going to modify some properties first we can change our stem. And if we're going with complexity in our uh, tutorials, which are going based from this, we're going to modify phase of the flower based on the height. But for this right now, for the start, we'll just creating only a few variations. So let's so I, um, set this maybe to 0.2. So our plant will be varied, variation will be from one meter or 80 centimeters to 1.2 the next radius we'll just set inherit and we'll switch maybe to only 10 percent so it's become quite a bit thin let's increase slightly resolution okay right here the next what i want to do it is um kind of change shape because i want to have it a little bit more thicker on the bottom and a little bit less on top going inside take out our filter and just click right here and drag down so you notice right here how we're changing already our shape and maybe around this area let's click OK and simple corners again if it's a little bit too thick on the bottom we always can reduce maybe to eight percent just make it a bit thinner The next, let's add some leaves going on the sides on the plant because it's growing and have it maybe some different side of the leaves. We'll go create this by using another segment. Mm, you know what, actually, sides. Let's go to name it as a single. I'll just go leaf. Okay, you don't need to change colors, so just easy to identify sometimes. And we'll go to connect to our child. They are 10 meters long, so it's quite a bit extensive. Um, we want to modify them. And we can go to inside and says, hey, let's do this. Let's go one meter for now, just as example and we'll probably will shrink after but with this size it's easy to look on them and uh, work and we can go because we'll probably go a little bit lower we'll just go point 0.1 for the random okay radius on this we'll use it let's use it user define and we'll set the radius maybe point 0.3 that is quite a bit thick leaves for us. Um, but the side thickness is maybe I want to use it. In many cases, if I use it realistically, I probably will go and create the blades and will apply blades to the side and use this one. Except in this case, I want to have a thick leaves. I don't want to have just the blades. I want to have a thickness and I will work by working with thickness by working in a session section so we'll open 
our section and I'm going to add four points. I'm going to take this side point and this will be bottom of our leaves and bring back here. This is, will be top of our leaf. And we'll just maybe slightly right here. Let's click OK. And you can see that actually I was mistaken. This is top and bottom. So that is OK. Let's go back. We can always modify these by having, OK, this is, will be our bottom. OK. And we can take shrink these ones. And that will be our top. There you go. So right now we change them. Um, again, radius maybe too wide. So let me go switch to 0.2. That's look good. And I want to shape them so they connect properly to these edges. I will go inside the radius. And let's switch right now to smooth. We'll go one end. But notice how right here, I don't like how they look. So we'll add one more point and we'll just take this point and bring right here okay next i want to just take add one more point right around here so we can have it smooth we'll take this one and bring adjusting and let's bring a little bit more down so you can see we have a nice curve going same as on the leaves Okay, let's go ahead, click OK. Again, if you think the leaf is a little bit too thick for this, but again, for the cartoon, I want kind of have a thick leaves. Um, you can always go to um, section right here and try to reduce the thickness on the sides. So we can kind of creating And let's just reposition and creating a little bit thinner leaf with our profile. So we have these edges a little bit better looking. Okay, so we have it nice leaves, but they kind of go uniform. So to change them, we'll go inside the stamp, go in our leaf tab for this. And you know what, let's go first change different numbers. So we'll have it like five maybe of them. Okay, next I want to change my start point. So I want, don't be them too low to the ground. However, we can do straight out of, but I think Maybe around there will be good. And we'll take end and bring out. I don't want them cover my flower on the top. So we'll maybe adjust this a little bit more afterwards. Uh, next, right here, you notice we have it 30 degrees. Uh, we can go and pop up maybe even more. Let's go to 45, a little bit sharper. But again, on the bottom, I want less a little bit more flatten. So for this again, we'll go with the filter. I'll just take this filter and add like, notice how right here we start cutting off. So I'm going to zero. And one thing with the filter for this, it's a minus and a zero. So if I go down, it will go opposite. But I want to head to the zero, so right here. And as we're going up, our angle is start changing. So kind of nicely blending around the also we're going to use it call to spin those things around spin the leaf so i'm going just type number you can try different 137 it should work and we'll go ahead maybe five degrees for the random okay, right here we kind of split those leaves nicely um, except the bottom one is a little bit big and top is big as well so i want to change them i want to change scale and we can go inside the leaves right here. And inside the leaf, we can modify. For example, the radius, we always can take and say, hey, with the parent, if you hire, make less radius. Don't worry about, it seems like bug eating. It's because our resolution lower. But the one way, so we'll reduce radius. 
okay and, and next we also let's reduce link of the sleeves so the higher they are the slightly shorter they are and let's work on trapezium so same things i'm going to just add 25 which is bend them look more natural and we can go add maybe about 10 to the random effect um, one last thing is before we continue to next part it is i want to add um, blending with parents so what i was meaning if we look right here on the edge how they come to the steam i want enable blending with parent you can notice now it's smoother and looks just slightly better okay to preview we can pop up the resolution for this okay and right here this is blending before and after so it's kind of blend a little bit nicer we can increase our height on top blending okay and also bottom one extend right this area okay let's reduce slightly okay and maybe pop up link okay let's take down and see what's different will be yeah i think about three was nice so we'll just leave it like this and here is our plant and basic leaves we created for our plant with the segments so let's continue in next tutorials to work on flower itself